Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. And my thing was, I want to change lives. Wow. I want to affect lives. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I want to be an influence in a positive manner. Okay. And just not to the detriment of me, like hurt me and my family, but if I had excess, I want to pour back. I want to give my people things that people have not given us. Show them that we can have hope because everybody's so stuck in it ain't never going to change mentality. So you keep doing the same repetitive ass shit and you ain't coming up with no kind of solution to the problem. Everybody talking about what we need, but ain't nobody doing shit about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you want to create that change. Yes. And so start up yeah, here. So I got out there and East Texas can tell you, so shout out to Longview, my hometown, oh, where really? I reside right now. <clears throat> I got along with Trilly, and then my sons gave me the purpose to do what I'm doing when I came off the couch, and that was my first intention. When I came on the scene, uh, we had, this is no lie, 19 unsolved murders in the city of Longview. Wow. And I watched my husband cry in the bathroom one, one night because one of the kids that had got murdered was somebody he raised or helped wow. raise. He knew and that all child. of these 19 kids were all black? Yes, all minorities. You know, wow. so it was bad back then, and that shit wasn't cool to me. I'm like, y'all around here killing each other. People's families hurting. And, oh, you shot my family, and I'm gonna go over here and shoot your family type shit. And we just gonna keep shooting at each other, keep hurting families, keep shooting up in houses with kids and wives, and you know, just women. And you don't get it, but you gangster. Wow. You're not gangster. And I got out in the middle of the park, and everybody could tell you that from East Texas. I adamantly speak on, stop killing each other. The fuck you doing? Yeah. Yeah. That shit ain't cool. So they didn't have anything to do. I felt like to vent, to actually get how they felt out. To you know, a lot of it was a lot of a lot of young black males that don't have nurturing. They don't have people to go to that can direct them, and they're trying to figure it out. Even as young black males, a lot of black families in their heads think when a child is eighteen, you grown, you put your kids out there, but they don't even know. Still, half of them don't even have no direction when they get to that age. So age all. does not define maturity or being ready for this life. I'm not turning my back 100%, on my sons. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. On anybody. So that I know. Ch Charleston, what do, you, what, do you, what do you think about that? Oh, your children don't never stop being your children. Even when they get 28 and yeah. 30, they still go need your direction. They still go need your correction mm -hmm. yeah. uh, as well as your guidance, right? Uh, in, in your love, right? So your children never stop being, being your children and, and you never stop being a parent. Yeah. Uh, that's what got me about this event. Uh, when you told me about it, um, I was just gonna do the, the, prom the promo, yeah. the promotional. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, I was kind of like you, uh, man. Fuck them rap niggas out there in East Texas, <laughs> man. I'm rapping that nigga, man. Yeah, fuck them niggas. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, them niggas killing each other, man. Yeah. Shit, fuck them. So yeah. So you sent me the link, right? Yeah, I did. And I didn't, I didn't look at it. Yeah. But you just kept telling me why yeah. she did it. Yeah, yeah. You, you kept saying why she was doing this. So when when I when I clicked on the link. And, and, and saw that little funny looking white woman on the news talking about it. Uh, I said, oh man, she got white folks attention. She sure got mine now. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's so, true. So yeah, nigga, she got white folk talking yeah, about it. Nigga, yeah. well, I'm I perked up. Hey, let me see what she got yeah. going on. And so, <laughs> a, 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 as the as the news clipping went on, and man, uh, uh, yeah, I said, no, nah, man, uh, uh, my spirit was convicted. That's uh, right. Uh, so that's when you know something is is is, is righteous. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it convicts you. Uh, so uh, I said, no, nah, man, till I, I I'm gonna be there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I yeah, remember that. Yeah, yeah. You say I, it? I'm gonna be there, and so I started calling uh, uh, my my city officials. Say, man, it's this woman down there. So I started sending <laughs> oh, no, a link. No, that's to how them. you do it. Yeah, so I started calling my city officials, saying, "Hey, man, uh, man, this is a uh, this is innovative. Uh, this is." Uh, yeah, I started trying to pick the right kind of adjectives, right? Yeah, uh, 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 yeah this is trailblazing. Uh, I ain't lying. I said, uh, I said innovative. I yeah. said trailblazing. Yeah. And, and what else I said? A uh, trend, a uh, uh, trend sending, right? That this was set trends. Yeah. Uh, because what she doing? She getting all these little killing motherfuckers and they friends who doing the killing, right? And putting them all in one place. Wow. And giving them a stage to be seen and to be heard and to be celebrated, to be admired, something that yes. they typically don't get in their day-to-day -day life. And this really what they killing behind. 
Yeah. Real talk. If, attention. If, 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 uh, and, and, and I'm going to say this on air. If Bebe would have sat down and talked to Mo3, mm-hmm. that's all he wanted. That's all if, he if, wanted. If, 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 if Mo3 could have got to perform at that show with Yellow Bees where he got arrested, that's all he wanted. Wow. So if they could have got Mo3, Yellow Bees, and Trap Boy Freddy all in one place and let them perform at separate time and let the people clap, let the people do, they could have saved something. Right. Wow. So when I hear her Heavy. say she want to save and impact lives, that's what I got out of the spirit of of just hearing about why she's doing this event. Wow. Uh, so yeah, I was excited uh, to come. So yeah. uh, I really wasn't coming to to perform and, and participate. <laughs> uh, I was coming as a spectator. Yeah. So I can so I can take this message uh, back to my village, and 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 you know so we can repeat it. Wow, mm-hmm. that's dope, and that's what that's what everybody should want to do. Yeah. In their neighborhoods, in their villages, as you stated, yeah. they should want to take yeah. the message back in a way to where it can change the narrative when it comes to saving lives. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going 